Hey everybody, it's Crackers. Welcome back to House Flipper. Why am I standing on the cupboard, you ask? Well, the counter, I guess. Because we must have had an earthquake or something in this house or in this area because my cans and everything was all sticking out of the cupboard. So I was just trying to fix them because it was driving me crazy. Anyway, guys, I think this water might have to just go somewhere else. We'll put it over here. Um, we are back here in House Flipper, and it's been a while, I know, but we have stuff to do. We need to sell the Christmas house. Oh, I love my house. I don't spend enough time here, but I do really, really like it. Oh, I forgot we did some of the yard. It has been a while since we've hung out here. Anyway, guys, let's head over to Grandma's house, because that's where we ended off last time. That was old house with a bunker. Here it is. Hasn't snowed here, but it is time to sell this crazy looking Christmas house. Um, Sylvia, if I remember correctly, said that we may have trouble selling it. Now we do have buyers on the side and I hope that's a good sign. I'm hoping that whatever the problem was, was fixed because I think it had something to do with the last update. I had buyers or something before the update and after the update um, she noticed that they were gone and she said she had the same problem when she, when she went to, to uh, <laughs> I can't speak today, when she went to sell the house uh, it didn't sell or she couldn't sell it so she was stuck with it. So I'm hoping that's not going to happen with us but I think it's time to sell it. Unfortunately grandma and grandpa have passed away. <laughs> Oh my God, no, that's not true. Uh, maybe they've moved into an old age home. You know, I left you guys a little Easter egg in this house, and I'm not sure if any of you noticed it, but we'll see. We'll see if you've noticed anything in particular. Anyway, guys, let's sell this puppy. Sorry, guys, I was just having one final look. I did show you the backyard, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. I was wanting to just take a few more pictures because I wasn't sure how many I got because it's been so long. But anyway, we are back and we're ready to sell. Ooh, let's do the let's do the the garden contest. Um, hmm. I think we could maybe do wood and stone. Let's try the crop one. Hey, not bad, not bad. Equipment wasn't up there but nice okay so that might help us in in the long run here okay so we're gonna put this puppy on the auction Jeez. okay at least we're getting some buyers so that's a good thing what did we buy this house for 170,000 and we're only getting 207 but we have a profit of 108 Okay, well, hmm. I guess that's not bad. Of course, we're going to only sell it to the bunker people. There isn't any canned food. There's a whole thing of it downstairs, dude. Like, seriously, I don't know if you could have any more canned food than what is down there. Huh. Okay, you know what? That just, that just that it just bugs me so I want more money <laughs> oh let's see what could we get um you know what let's try for 22,000 more 22,390 all right let's cross our fingers guys oh nice okay we got it so we got a little bit more money awesome goodbye grandma and grandpa's house Oh, look at this. I don't remember seeing this before. It's great that there's a gun. Even my daughter knows how to use it. Play water, blah, blah, blah. There isn't canned food. It may turn out that we need to spend a long time here. We'd like a sofa. There is a sofa. One bed is definitely not enough. There's more than one bed. There's a kitchen. Oh my gosh, I don't understand. I don't understand how this works. Anyway, let's, uh, let's just, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, I want to accept that offer. Thank you. And we unlocked an achievement survivalist. Okay, anyway guys, uh, that took way longer than I thought. 
let's go to our office and we need to buy a new house. So I think for the next house, now there was somebody who wanted me to start with a bathroom. So I promise we're gonna start with bathroom. And there was also someone, uh, what's that, Mustang Maniac, I think, um, gave me a really good idea for a pocket door. So I'm gonna try his out, his idea out. And we're gonna do that in this house too, I hope. But what we need to do is decide on which house we're gonna, I still have to work on the video game house. I don't know why I'm dreading that house so much, but we're not doing it. So we have three more houses left to buy, guys. And we do have the Halloween house that we can uh, work on the inside with. Um, so in this house we're gonna do, and I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but do I have, I'm gonna have to check. Um, I wanna kinda base the house on those like black and white pictures with the color pop. I don't know if it's, uh, if it's called color pop, but you know, it'll be a black and white picture, but something in the picture or a group of something similar in the picture will be a, a certain color. And that's the only color that's in the picture. And I'd like to do that with a house. I don't want to use those pictures on the wall. I want to actually make the room all black and white, but then have something in the room that's kind of a color pop. I thought it would just be something fun and different to do. Not sure how well it'll go over, but we're going to try it out. So I don't want to I don't want to do the idea, I don't think, with a really big house. I'm kind of thinking it would be kind of do neat to do the just married house. Mm, I mean, yeah, let's let's buy this house. How much money do we have? Yeah, we can afford this. Actually, we can afford most of them. Okay, let's go check this out. All right, here we are. Here we are. Ooh, this is a big house. This is a really big house. I mean, we could go back to the Halloween house and do that to the inside of that one because really the yard's already done. So, but let's have a look inside here and see what this one has in store for us. So what do we have here? We have a room, we have a room. Oh, we gotta look for secret rooms. I wonder if there's any other little secret rooms that we don't know about. Um, okay, so not a lot we could do here. This is a pretty narrow little area. Okay, okay. So what's here? This, oh, this has a basement too? Let's go see what's down here. All right, well, um, this is a big house to do. It's a really big house. Okay, it's gonna take us like forever to do. So, 100 episodes, guys. I cannot believe this is the 100th episode. I gotta thank you guys so much for hanging out with me through all these episodes. It's amazing. I can't believe we've come this far. It has been a really, really fun, fun series to do. And most of it is thanks to you guys. So, yay for you. <laughs> Oh, it, yeah, it's been amazing. It really has been amazing. Okay, so we have how many bedrooms? Okay, one, two, a lot of bedrooms. This might be a good house to do. I mean, we could. We could do this. There's no garage, right? There's no garage. No. This is just a small little yard. Yeah, I think we could probably do that, guys. And I promise, like I said, we're going to start with the bathroom. I don't know. Yeah, I have to think about the layout of this place. So what I'll do is I'm going to clean this place up. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot to do. Just some, yeah, we got to clean windows. Um, and we got to sell some old furniture that we don't want. It's going to be, oh, Jesus, thing is... I mean, it's, it's easier to control, but it's a lot slower. I feel like I'm like dragging my mouse across my desk. But anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, finish cleaning all these windows and pick up stuff and sell stuff. I think this is all stuff that we can indeed. Was I supposed to clean that stuff first or? Anyway, this is all stuff that we can, I'm just wondering if it 
gets rid of the dirt if you sell it before you actually clean it. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that's that's all good. Anyway. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff. Yeah, I got some cleaning to do, guys. So I will be back. All right, guys. The windows are all clean. There was a lot of windows in this place. Let me tell you. Um, I'm just trying to decide what is happening in this house. So I'm thinking in this house, I think it's going to be, I, I always have to give it some sort of a, a thought as far as like the type of family that's living here. So I'm thinking that this is maybe a couple who have kind of grown kids, um, like teenage kids. Maybe they're not out of the house yet. So what I'm thinking is, because they're, they're renovating, they're going to be renovating the upstairs and because the kids used to have these two rooms and now they're teenagers and they've booted them down to the basement. So they may have maybe taken down a wall and expanded their bedroom. They've renovated it, given themselves a really nice ensuite. Maybe there's a guest room up here and yeah, maybe a bathroom. Um, we'll give them a nice ensuite down here. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're going to have an office over here. This is really awkward space because these stairs are, are kind of in a weird spot. I think we'll probably take down this wall and make this sort of a kitchen living room area. Yeah, I think that should work. This fryer place is actually just messing me up. Can we move this? I'm sure. No, we're, we can't use it anywhere. Everything's going to be black and white, so let's get rid of it. So, and then I think maybe we could even have, like maybe they're old enough that maybe they have an in-law suite. Or it could be a guest bedroom. This could be the guest bedroom. And then we're going to have maybe a full bathroom down here. That might be okay. Hopefully that'll be enough room for a kitchen though. So, I mean, I, I'm going to stick to my word and we're going to start with the bathroom. Up here, i just trying to think of the layout. So, oh, and downstairs, I think, where's... Uh, downstairs yeah there's lots of room down here so we'll probably make two little teenager rooms or kind of young adult rooms down here with just like sort of a, a hangout area for them so I think that's what we're gonna work with in this house what I gotta do is to oh, start with the bathroom hey this is so weird to start with the bathroom but I think we'll get rid of some of this stuff uh, we'll get rid of this weird switch at the bottom of the wall. I know somebody said that's normal and we'll get rid of this switch in the middle of the wall. Don't think we need a switch there. Yeah, let me think about how this is good. Is that another one of those weird switches? That is just so bizarre. I know they explained to me. Speaker wires I can understand. Um, I can't remember why they have switches at the bottom. I know they explained it, but anyway. Um, let me think about how we're going to lay this out. When you come up the stairs, it's just kind of like, ooh, like you can't really put a wall too close. It's going to be very closed in. So i got to think about how to lay this out, and I will be back. All right, guys, we have crackers peckered the heck out of this upstairs. Taking down all the walls. Um, I actually screwed up. I took out this wall. And then I exited the game because these railings were kind of just floating and I couldn't add a wall back in. So I exited without saving. Thankfully, it still kept all my clean windows. So all is good and we have the railing butting into the wall again. Um, so yeah, if you have that house or this house, don't take out this piece of wall. I don't know why I thought I could, but I did it. Um, so I think I've taken out all the walls that I can. I don't think we can really go back any further. I mean. That's questionable. You could, but I don't know if we're going to have a door that close to the stairs. So now I got to figure out how I want this to look and what we're going to have. I think we're going to have, I'm going to try and fit in at least two bedrooms, but I got to figure out where to put the master bedroom. And we are going to start with the bathroom. So let me give this a little bit of thought, guys, and I'll bring you guys back. Welcome back guys. So I've gone ahead and I've 
well, sold all the doors to start with. You know, this actually works out kind of good because this is sort of our black and white house and the house is already black and white. So we're just gonna change out the door here to a white one. I think I've decided we're going to have, I think what we're gonna do, I think this is gonna be a bathroom for down here. Hopefully there's enough room here for at least a bathtub because I'd like to have a full bath because I thought maybe this could be sort of an in-law suite. And because like I said, the kids are grown and they won't get out of the house so they've been banished to the basement. So I think we're gonna put them down here eventually. And, but the, it, this is an in-law suite for, for, you know, mother-in-law or father-in-law or whatever. And I think we're going to have to keep the kitchen here. And then over in this corner, maybe an office. So basically, I think I'm going to just go through and paint the whole thing all white. This will be eventually a living room, obviously. So we're going to start with the bathroom. I kind of had to have an idea in mind of what we were doing so that I knew where I was putting my bath, my bathroom. So we'll do this bathroom up and we upstairs, I think what we're going to do is just have a guest bedroom right here. And this is what I meant by the whole pocket door idea that uh, Mustang man Maniac had. So what he did was he um, just kind of made, I think, two walls, I'm assuming. He just said he used two walls to use sort of a, a pocket door effect. He painted the insides black, so maybe we'll try and do that just to see if it kind of helps sort of hide the idea that we have one of these sliding doors in here. Um, how come I can't get but this? Ooh, 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 I almost had it. There it is, there it is, okay. We're just gonna put that back for now. But anyway, so this is kind of the pocket door idea that um, I, I'm surprised I didn't ever think of doing that, but you know what, actually we could probably put, oh yeah, that'll be good. And then paint that. That'll be awesome actually. So this is just a little pocket door to a little bathroom that's going to be a company. It's just going to be a, well, hmm. Yeah, we could probably put a, oh yeah, I think I tried to put a bathtub in here and it did fit. So it's going to be small, but I think it'll be it'll be functional. So we'll have a little guest bedroom here. They'll have their own little po pocket door to get into their bathroom. And then this has been renovated into a big master suite. So I'm thinking we're gonna have a door somewhere here to go into the master suite. And we're gonna try and make a closet out of this and a little a bathroom, like an actual toilet room. And we'll have a big, I don't know. We'll have a, hmm. We might even have a place for them to kind of sit and relax, like as far as like a little living room, kind of a little, just a little spot for them with a TV. And so it's gonna be a nice, big, luxurious master bedroom, because that's what they've done. They kicked the kids to the basement and they've renovated their upstairs, got rid of the kids' rooms. So that's, I think, what we're going to do here. So the bathroom is probably going to be in this section here. So what I'm going to probably do is, I've said probably a lot. I think I'm going to get some, because we're going to stick to whites and blacks and grays, because I think gray is just a combination of the two. So I think we can get away with that. So I might grab some white paint. One thing, you guys, I noticed that we have, and I think we can use I cannot believe we have new flooring. Are you kidding me? Floor panels, let's go have a look. Look, white panels. Ugh. We have a different floor color. Like why can't we just have more? Give me gray. So I think we can get away with some, maybe some white floors. Maybe that's what we'll use in here. We'll probably go into a tile in the, the bathroom, but I'm not sure exactly where the bathroom's gonna start so I mean I, I, I don't know what else we could I mean we could break it up with some carpet because I think there's a gray carpet but that's about the only thing that falls into the black white and and uh, gray category and oh and also if you weren't sure what I was talking about when I said like what I, I don't know how well this is gonna go because we don't have a lot of things to play with so I don't know exactly so, but this is the color pop picture I was talking about, how you have everything kind of black, white, and gray, but you have one thing in the room that's that's a bright color. So I have a bunch of pictures here just so that you have an idea of what I'm going for, but I don't want to, 
you like it, it's oops um, I don't want to use a bunch of things that color that's kind of defeating the purpose I kind of want to have just maybe a section that's this color just one object so hey the whole house could end up being sort of like lame but that's sort of what I had in mind for this place and it really shouldn't take us long because I thought I had another color thing picture and I'm trying to find it here just but I think you guys get the idea anyway yeah like you know something like this where just the just the hat is orange so but the rest is all sort of the black white gray anyway that's the idea I had for this place and that's what we're going to work with so I'm going to buy some white paint and I think I'm going to just I probably will put a I want there to be just a separate door for like a toilet because I don't know I just feel like that's necessary like you should have your I don't know I don't want to pee in front of people that's just me but so maybe we'll have sort of a I think I came too far there just a little spot here to go in for just where there might be a, a toilet and um, other than that I think we'll have just I have to figure out where to put it the closet I'm not sure if I should put the closet in the far end of the bathroom. You have to walk through the bathroom to the closet. So I gotta work that out, but I think to start with, what I'm gonna do is buy some paint and we're gonna paint this puppy up um, so that it's just a neutral color and then we'll add color where we want. That's the best way I can think because I can't think when there's so much going on. Got floor colors and tile colors and all that kind of stuff. So. Let me, let me paint, um, I might pick a tile for the bathroom for now and then we'll again um, change it if we have to. So I'm gonna do some painting guys. Hey guys, um, so I've added some doors in and I'm starting to kind of pull together some sort of a layout. Um, what I've done is I put in a shower in this corner and we have a toilet that can go in there so we have a little bit of separation there for that private business and I still I think it's just it's weird with a closet because you can't hang clothes or anything so the other than the illusion of having a closet it's not going to really be very closet looking inside but I still thought maybe I would put in maybe a closet here and we'll have our bed here. I was thinking of putting in like a dressing table here, but then I was thinking maybe a fireplace will fit in there. So I've just kind of left it very generic kind of flooring. We might change this out just to add a little bit of, well, not color because we're working with black and white, but um, I think we'll put the bathtub against this back wall. And I want to have kind of his and her shower or sinks over here. So. I guess we can get going on that. Let's get some installations going here. Um, I want to have like sort of a cover in between to kind of separate the two sinks. Uh, so let's let's put one sink here. I, I like that it's sort of like it's a little bit more forgiving. I think I think it is with the new sinks and stuff. Like you can as long as you have the plumbing close by, it should work. And I was looking at the cabinets and I kind of like this because I want it to look sort of modern. Um, do they have a black? They have a black. Ooh, they have a black. Okay, because we have a little bit of black on our shower. So what if we did black and white? So how does this work? So can we put it right in there? Okay, this should work. Yeah, I love that they changed that. There's actually a lot of new stuff. Like, I mean, you can even add plugins and stuff now, which is kind of cool. I'm not sure that I'm ever going to bother, but what's going on here? Oh, there we go. Gosh, it's been so long since I've installed a sink. I've lost my plumbing abilities here. Yeah, okay, that should work out great. Yeah, I like that. So then maybe we'll put a high cabinet here. This window is messing me up because it's sort of in a weird place, but there's not much we can do about it. Um, so, okay, so what do they have for these? Was, this was called Lamont. So what do they have for? They have a mirror. They have a small hanging cupboard, large hanging, and a hanging sink. Okay, so that's what we have to choose from. 
So then I guess we would do white. Can this butt up though? That's about as close as it'll get. How narrow is that? And is the smaller one the same size? Uh, let me just do the shortcut here. Small hanging. I just want to see what the black would look like too. It's a little bit different color than the black that's there. So this is about the same. Okay, okay. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the long one. Actually, the black does match. I just had the wrong black selected. So, it's not budding as nice. Hmm. Can I put another one on top? No, I can't. But we could probably put a small one top and bottom just to kind of give it a little bit more height. Okay, so what if we did something like that, just to add a little bit of, I just wanted to have a nice tall cupboard in between that they could keep their stuff in. So I think we can add in another sink now. Okay, that took longer than I thought. My goodness, I could like install this kind of embedded in this cupboard, which I guess could come in handy in some cases. Like maybe we could have, I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, the, this is the way it's going to look. I have this all set up now. I think this looks really cute. So now we need to get a bathtub. So we got a little bit of the black and white thing going on in here. Um, I guess we need to get a toilet too. We could throw that in really quick. I'm really just actually kind of anxious to use. Um, oh, we could do something like that um, since we have the black and white thing going on. I'm really just anxious to use all the new stuff. Um, I haven't really actually did a house just with all the new pretty things. Like we've got these, uh, what are they? Um, the, the curtains, the Roman blinds to use. Um, there's a whole bunch of different colors. Like I, I just want to do a pretty, oh my gosh, they even have polka dot. They have a whole bunch of patterns. Oh my goodness, you guys. Yeah, we got to just do a pretty house next. I think that's what I want to do. This looks a little off center, but dang it, that's not going to do. Okay, that's better. I used a different toilet too. Not that it really looks that much different, but it just looked kind of cool. Anyway, um, okay, so we've got our little, little toilet room done, and now we need to get a shower. We've got to have, actually, you know, we might be able to put a little kind of a dressing table in here. That might be kind of cool. We might be able to use these cupboards as sort of the tabletop if we could butt them together. But let's look at bathtubs really quick. And, um, hmm. Kind of a look. Ooh, we haven't used this one, have we? Does this come in? Ooh, it does come in black and white. Hmm. I'm not sure what the color pop is going to be in here yet, so we might end up um, changing something out, but we'll get everything kind of looking generic. I cannot tell if this is centered. I think that's pretty centered. Okay, we got this big bad boy in. Yeah, I think that works actually. So we do need something on this wall, but I think that's going to have a lot of this done. And we've started with bathroom, so somebody should be happy. I think it was Christina, I think Christina Lee, that's been, she likes to start with her bathroom, so she was encouraging me to do the same. So there you have it. Um, I think that we could, well, I, I just don't know what to do for a color pop in here. I feel like, guys, we're going to have to at least put plants in. It's going to be tough to, because these are big rooms. It's not like it's just a small little picture that you can paint a hat. Um, I, I feel like we might have to, as long as it's the same color, we might have to put a little bit more or at least group it together. But we'll see how this goes. So far, this is very, very black and white. But we will add our little color pops somewhere. So we just got to figure that out. Now, as far as, um, I think we should probably just go ahead and finish the whole upstairs. So what I might do is, see, we've got a, I barely fit a bathtub in here. I could only use the one style because it was the smallest 
And we've got our toilet, of course, and our sink here. So we've got to put some mirrors in. Got to figure out what kind of a color pop to do in here too. But this is going to be our little, our little pocket door for our spare room. And we just got to find a bed for in here. And uh, that's going to be pretty much it. And then we got to decorate the hallway. So, um... What, oh, let's have a look at the beds really quick and then what I'll do is I'll let you guys go and I'll just kind of do all the other little little things. So furniture, beds, should we go, I think we should just go with a generic, I want to use a new one. I think we should definitely use one of the new ones or maybe not, I don't know. This is, hmm, they got new bedding for this one, don't they? No. No, not really. Hmm. This one, they did. Oh, this one would be a very messy bed. Uh, that's white? How's that white? White? White. Bed sheet white. Huh, weird. Okay, that doesn't look white, but it does work. So we could use it. Well, that's actually kind of nice. I like that. It kind of has a little bit of the gray. And we could paint gray in here too, but for now, let's just let's pop this down do we dare make the bed I kind of like it all messy I kind of do what does it look like made oh I don't want to make it oh that looks nice too okay we could do that let's do that how come the mattress is showing don't they have sheets on their bed it looks like them anyway uh, okay so that's not quite centered I don't think but we can move that over Okay, and then I think we could, let's just see what we have for fireplaces. Um, well, okay, this is probably the smallest one. Metallic, metallic, hmm. What other colors? Do they have just like a white? That's not really white though. No, I think maybe we'll just go with this metallic. Yeah, and it just fits in here. I think that, I think that could be good. Um, and then maybe what we could do is put a half wall and put a, well, no, but we were gonna have a little seating area for a TV. So yeah, we'll leave that as is for now. We might and close this a little bit more with wall but we'll see what if we just even just kind of do something like that I'm not sure I might fill that in more or maybe we'll leave it so that it has a little bit more yeah we'll leave it like that for now we'll see Anyway, um, so this is a start to the bedroom and what I'll do is I'll find some more furniture that matches this. Um, we're gonna set up a little seating area and then we'll have like little color pops. I mean, like I said, big room, we might need to have like a color pop here and then um, I just raised my hand and did like some magical movement that I thought you guys could see. Or we, and then maybe like, you know, just a little, I don't know. I'm not sure how this is going to, cause it's just going to look so plain, but we'll, we'll play with it and we'll see. The cupboards are disappearing when I, yeah, that weird glitch again. Anyway, maybe the bathtub will, will be the pop of color because there was other bathtubs too, wasn't there? Yeah. See these all have, well, that might be kind of fun to use the bathtub as the pop of color, but let me think on this guys. Let me do a few more. Like it's just going to take a bit to uh, kind of go in. I got to figure out what I'm doing with the closet too. So I'll figure that out. I'll find some more furniture for us and we'll get these rooms done. Um, might try and finish up this bathroom too and maybe even have the whole upstairs done. But anyway, we will, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, are you guys ready to see our very monochromatic room? Um, so all I've done out here is just put in just like a little, we need a pop of color in this room too, but I've just put in these little cupboards in a big picture. So everything's kind of black and gray right now, black, gray, white. This is our bedroom. You guys, I'm actually really liking it with no color. I'm kind of like, I don't want to put any color in it. I'm surprised. 
But this is what I've done with our uh, luxurious mom and dad suite here. So we've kept it, like I said, white, black, gray. Um, just have that little bit, like I tried to keep to the darker plants. So they sort of still looked pretty, you know, as, as gray as I could get it. But we needed some decorations in here. So um, this is all I've done in here. I'm loving these Roman blinds. They come in so many colors. I can't wait to use them. But in here, we've got the gray ones going on. They even like go together seamlessly in the middle. Like it's amazing. I love them. So we got our little seating area here. We've just used some pictures. I've used like a, oh, I forgot to paint up there. I had some stripes and then I changed my mind. Um, but I gotta, I should, I should repaint that so you can't see the stripes. But anyway, uh, I used like some prints just to kind of add a little bit of color. Well, a little bit of interest anyway. Um, and yeah, so we, I ended up not putting the closet over there just because this window was sort of in the way to build any sort of a wall out. So I kind of switched things around. So I just have his and hers closet here, which I think is okay. Like it's, I was thinking of a like a walk-in closet, but it just wasn't gonna work out in this space. So this is their living room. I think it's really, really pretty. I'm loving it, but we gotta add a splash of color like I promised. And then this is the bathroom. Really happy with the way this turned out too. Oh, we need a picture in there yet. But again, just kept it black, white, gray. Um, I used different color Roman shades in here. We went with a jellyfish theme. Let's get naked. And then we just need something in there. Did I use all my jellyfish pictures? I think I only had four. So um, let, me, let me look at the pictures really quick here. And then we will add a splash of color and call this done. I wanted to get the spare room and the other bathroom done. But I just sort of ran out of time. So... Um, what could we use in this little bathroom? I have some really nice black and white pictures. Oh, there's a little rubber ducky one, but that would be good in a main bathroom somewhere. I have some dandelion ones, but there's a bunch. So I kind of want to keep them as a grouping for maybe, maybe another space downstairs. Um, I mean, this one's just kind of a whatever one. I don't see any more that would really, we, we could just use that as sort of a, oh no, that's kind of grainy. Well, it's kind of just plain though. It's just kind of adds something to the wall. You know what? I think we're going to use that. Except for we're going to make it bigger. It's a little bit blurry, but it'll do. And it's kind of, I like all the, different colors in it like it's sort of well not colors I keep saying colors and there's no color in here but you know there's different shades of gray so yeah I think that's really simple I'm actually really liking the black and white I want to go and change my whole house now but yeah so now we just need a splash of color and I, I don't know what exactly to add color to we could just do the towels but that's such a small amount in a big room we could add a carpet that might be okay but then what would we do in here um we could do maybe just the plants in here just for a splash of color it's not going to be the color poppy I was hoping for in those photos, but I mean, I think there's just only so much we could do. I mean, we could change out the furniture, but I actually really like the way it's looking right now. So I kind of don't want to mess with it. Hmm. Okay. Let's look at carpets really quick and see. Um, we could do like a fuchsia. That would be a really good pop of color. But I want the two rooms to sort of blend. So I don't want to do rug in both rooms. Let's just see what else there is. Um, we could do maybe a green. I mean, that would be okay. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, I kind of actually like that too. 
What if we did that? Will these butt together quite nicely? Not bad. That could be our little splash of color in there. I love teal in bathrooms. I can't not use them sometimes. So now I wonder if, I thought I saw teal in these plants. So what if we go back and we do, I mean, this is just supposed to add a little splash of color and I want it to kind of be uh, consistent between these two rooms because they're open to each other. So uh, what am I looking for? Uh, where do I find decorations, plants? Now, which plants was it that I had? I think it was, was it these ones? Oh, they have a turquoise. Does that kind of match? Oh, it does. Yes, let's do that. Okay, yes, we're just going to do the plants in this room, and that is going to be our little color pop. So let's put that in here, and then we had one in the corner. It was the one with the rounded. Does that come in the same color? It does. Nice. Uh, I think this was the one. How come it's not fitting though? Oh, just had it. There we go. Okay, that's our little color pop. That's all we're allowed. I just figure we can do it kind of spanning the whole room because they're all the same kind of thing. It's the plants. I like it. I was gonna do a picture up here, but I'm kind of, I, I kind of like that picture. So I'm glad that we could go with the plant and it kind of matches with this room. So I really like the way this turned out. Yes, love it. Guys, that's gonna be it for today. Next time we will, I'll probably work on this room. I started it. I just need to do a little bit more and I'm just kind of running out of time for today. And I wanna get a video out to you guys because I know it has been a long while. But I hope you guys are all doing really good. I hope the way I hope you like the way this is all turning out. I kind of like this. I don't know if it has the same dramatic effect as the pictures do, but I think it's just kind of fun. It's something different to do and I'm actually really liking having the kind of black, white, and gray theme. So yes, I'm digging it. I'm digging it, guys. Anyway, I hope you guys are too. What is that? How come this is not showing? What, it's like a... Uh, well, that's weird. Let's just have a look here real quick. Where were those? That was in the bathroom, right? I wish that they had different colors. I didn't want to break the rules and go with the brass. So I'm just sort of using these plain looking ones. So, um, let's put it on that side. Oh, now that picture's gone. What is going on here, guys? Okay, that was weird. Everything's disappearing, so that's uh, there's not much I can do about that. Anyway, the, I just put the I tried to put the picture back, but it keeps disappearing every time I go in. I did add a little plant in here because I felt like this room needed that little splash of color too. I mean, otherwise it's pretty plain, but it's just like supposed to be a little you know toilet room, so. I could put some toilet paper or something in there, but for today, guys, I think this is going to be it. I hope you guys like how it turned out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys all next time. Bye.